we're here with Dr. Katie Walter to look at the methane coming off of this lake. And methane is a really powerful greenhouse gas, so it's very important to climate change. We are at a lake that's down by Denali, and parts of the lake have a lot of methane, and parts of the lake don't have very much methane. So we un want to understand where that methane is coming from. Permafrost is thawing. It's actually warming up and thawing beneath the lakes. And that process feeds bacteria that make methane. So when we look across the map, and we look across the Arctic, we see all the millions of lakes, we recognize that those lakes are all emitting methane. I'm going up this inlet here, um, where I think I found a methane hotspot. It looks like the ice has been kept open by a high rate of methane bubbling. You can see the bubbles kind of coming up and popping at the surface. As we see the temperature increases that are projected for the future, that means that the places in the Arctic that are frozen, the permafrost environment, warms and it thaws. And today, there is as much carbon in the permafrost as there is in the atmosphere. So if all the permafrost warms and thaws, and all of that carbon is converted to greenhouse gases, it would double the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. But in fact, much of the permafrost thaws beneath lakes. And we estimate that the amount of methane that can come out of lakes is 10 times the amount of methane that's right now in the atmosphere. 